So the next topic I want to talk about today is quiet quitting. And this article is all about how hustle culture is out. Quiet quitters now make up half the U.S. workforce. And a new Gallup survey suggests workers are increasingly bothered by a lack of clarity about expectations, fewer opportunities to grow, and just feeling cared about overall. And it now says at least half of all U.S. workers now do the bare minimum of, a, of what's required for them uh, at their jobs. And this is really interesting to me because it just shows that a lot of people, that's saying half of the people that go to their job every day are just trying to do the bare minimum and they just don't really enjoy what they do, whether that's the, from the work itself or just the overall work environment that they're in. Yeah, I saw that you know, pretty much they did a survey and they saw that, you know, the number of people engaged in work from pre-COVID to now has dropped significantly, which kind of makes sense. You know, people took that time off. They got a taste of home life and not having to do much, or at least they got a taste of remote work. And, you know, maybe remote work, it's a little bit more relaxing. It's not as comfortable. I mean, it's not as engaging. And so you find that even people that are engaged in their work, I also, another thing that I read is they're, in addition to the people that aren't engaged, are also looking for new jobs. So it's it almost seems like kind of goes in line with what you were saying about, you know, people not being exactly straightforward about what's expected of them at work. You know, even the people that are, are there's a quick turnover rate that's kind of happening now post-COVID that people are wanting to transition to another job. It's going to be interesting interesting to see how this might impact, you know, the number of people wanting to start their own thing or go into like go into entrepreneurship because maybe, you know, that sort of work, the way the workforce is headed, you know, people aren't as engaged in the corporate environment. Yeah. And I mean, right now, currently, it's crazy you bring this up because we're actually in the period that they're calling it like the great resignation, right? Where it's like so many people are kind of leaving their jobs. Some people aren't even going to find new work, but rather because, uh, you know, a lot of things came with COVID where a lot of government incentives kind of where people could get on unemployment. And honestly, some people were making more money by not working and actually going to work, which is which is crazy to think about. So uh, it, it is very interesting, but at the same time, it's it's not really surprising. Again, it's like so many people they're going to to their job, you know, f five days a week, and they're just they're not enjoying it. And it's like when they know that they can get incentives and they can get paid from doing nothing, it's like that's that's what that's what's yeah. happening. So what do you guys think is is really the solution to this? The main thing that I thought of is is it really comes down to management. And I think it comes to showing that, hey, these people don't feel like they're cared about. They just feel very disposable. So I think the way that we could, I guess, or companies could try to resolve this is by, you know, managers actually showing that they care. Maybe meeting with team members once a week, even for 15 minutes, 20 minutes, would be, would do uh, massive changes to showing that, hey, I'm listening. I want to hear the changes. I want to hear your input. But besides that, like, do you guys think or have any possible solutions to, to think maybe fix this? Yeah. So I think for, at least from a mindset shift is something that, you know, if you're the head of the company or if you're a manager of a team, that the mindset that you should have going forward is the people under you don't work for you. You work for them. Yep. Pretty much whatever you can do to make their job and life easier, which, by the way, includes clear communication on what's expected of them and their, their tasks and priorities, what they need to be. Uh, just facilitating them and just the right communication, I think, could prevent people from not knowing exactly what they're supposed to be doing at work and then just being disengaged and this sort of quiet quitting where – they're, they're not really in tune with the company and the values as well as just like what they're actually supposed to be doing when they're there. So that's why they start to go look for another job. But if managers as well as the people at the head of the company, you know, in turn, were just like, you know what, I'm going to be completely unselfish. The people under me are who I work for. I want to make their job as easy as possible or and as direct as possible. And I think if, you know, you see a company wide implementation of that. There's going to be huge changes in people. You know, they already know what they need to do. They see that somebody really cares about them, especially somebody who's above them in the in the corporate chain. And if they, you know, see those changes implement, then a lot of success might happen. You might see these statistics about people wanting to leave their jobs overturn. Like you said, the, the one thing I would add on to that is, again, I definitely do think um, like management is ultimately like the biggest thing that should be looked upon and, and and honestly again like make making it feel more of like a like a, a positive environment and not so much like a, a strenuous job or, or like where you're not looking forward to going you know what I mean you got to make it more like you know change up the culture not well it's more the mindset of like not like I have to go to work today it's like oh man I get to go to work today 
You know what I mean? So it's like making it like that for the people that are going in every day.